Hello everyone and welcome back to video number 9. In this video we're going to add some movement to our enemy character. So right now the enemy shows up on level 3 and the enemy stands in the middle of the middle platform. To make the game a little bit more difficult we want to make this enemy move. So what we can do is make the enemy jump in place or we could make the enemy move left and right on this platform. So we're going to start by making this enemy jump in place. The good news is, is that we can use the same gravity script that we used on the player on the monkey. So if I go in my player code, I'm going to scroll down and find that gravity script. And here it is, gravity, gravity, gravity. So what I can do is click that and drag it on top of the monkey sprite icon. And just by doing that, it will copy and paste that code into the monkey script. So now what I want to do, because the variable is gravity, and that's the specific one for the player, I'm going to want to create a new variable that is the gravity for just the monkey or for just the enemy. So in order to create a new variable, I can go to the variables tab, and I can click make a variable, and I'm going to call this one enemy gravity. And I'm going to set it for this sprite only, because it's only for the monkey. Now I can go uncheck this box because I do not need enemy gravity on the screen. And I want to change all of these gravities, including the one here in the blue, to enemy gravity. I'm going to drag that gravity out, delete it, and use enemy gravity. So now what's happening is the enemy gravity is being set to zero at the beginning of the game. If the enemy is touching the ground, then the enemy gravity is still being set to zero. If the enemy is touching the ground and the space key is pressed, then the enemy is jumping by 10. And the enemy's Y is always being changed by gravity, and gravity is always pulling down on the enemy. When we press spacebar, that's when our player jumps. So we actually don't want this code here. I want these two at the bottom, so I'm going to drag those back. But I do not want the enemy to jump when we press the space bar. So I can actually delete these blocks of code. And what I want to happen is, if the enemy is touching the ground, because that happens automatically, it doesn't require the player or the people playing your game to actually do anything. So when the monkey touches the ground, that's when I want the monkey to jump. So how I can do that is I can change the set gravity from 0 to let's try 10. So now what's happening is if the monkey is touching the ground, then the monkey will jump by 10. So let's see how that looks. All right, so there we go. Now the monkey is on the middle platform, and he is jumping by 10. So now the player has to time it to move past the monkey. If you think that's too easy, you can always change how high the monkey is jumping. So right here, instead of 10, let's change it like to 5. There we go. Now the monkey is not jumping very high at all. I could change it to 8 if I still want the player to be able to go underneath the monkey. So you can change that number to make it either more difficult or less difficult. So that is how to make the monkey jump in place. Next thing we're going to do is make the monkey move from left to right. So for right now, I'm going to disable this jumping code. And how I can do that is simply drag this set gravity button underneath the when the green flag is clicked. So I'm not going to connect those. Now if I restart the game, I'm going to keep going here through level 1, over the lava in level 2. And now the monkey should not be jumping. There we go. So simple enough, I was able to disable this code. I don't have to delete it because if I want to bring it back, it's already done, but I'm going to disable it for now. All right, now what we want to do next is make the monkey move left and right on this center platform. How we can do that is when the monkey's position gets to a certain point, let's say like right here or the right side of the platform, which is X39, then we want to set the monkey's direction to go left. And when the monkey gets to this position, the left end of the platform, or negative 90, then we want to set the monkey's direction back to right. 
This way the monkey goes left and right infinitely on that middle platform. So how I'm going to do this is first grab a forever loop because I want this happening forever. So I can go to control, grab that forever, and I'm going to put it underneath the show when the backdrop switches to level 3 because I want the monkey to move when we get to level 3. And I'm going to grab a couple if then statements. And now what I want to do is make a variable for the monkey's direction. So I can go to variables, make a variable, and we'll call this one enemy direction. And we're going to set it for the monkey only. And what we want to do is say, if the monkey's direction equals right, then move the monkey to the right. And if the monkey's direction equals left, then move the monkey to the left. So that's exactly what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is grab the operator and we're going to grab the one with the equal sign and put that in both if then statements. And what we want to say is if the enemy's direction is equal to right, then move the monkey to the right. And if the enemy's direction is equal to left, then move the monkey to the left. So we can find enemy direction under variables. I'm going to drag that in the top one and in the bottom one. So if the enemy's direction equals right, we want to move the monkey to the right. So we can do this by going to motion and change x by 10. It's going to be the same for the left, so change x by 10, but instead of positive 10, it will be negative 10. So now when the monkey's direction is right, the monkey will move to the right. And when the monkey's direction is left, the monkey will move to the left. But now we have to set those parameters that say, when the monkey gets to x38, set the direction to the left. And when the monkey gets to x, I think it was negative 90 before, set the direction to the right. So that's what we'll do now. So I'm going to grab a couple more if-then loops. So I'll go to control. I want two if-then loops. And we'll start with the when the monkey gets to the right side of the platform. So when the monkey gets to, we said 38. So how we can do this is we say when the monkey's x position is greater than 38. So for instance, when the monkey gets to 39 or anything above 38, then we'll have the monkey go back to the left. So in order to do this, I can go to operators. I'm going to grab the greater than block. I'll also grab a less than block because I know I'm going to need that for the other side. And we said when the monkey's x position is greater than, I think 38 was the number we were working with, then we want to set the direction back to left. So I can find the direction under variables, set the direction, and we said to left. The only last thing I have to do is set the monkey's x position in this first space. I can find that under motion, scroll down, and it is x position. I'm going to need that same x position for the bottom one. So if the monkey's x position is less than Let's see the left end, we're looking at about negative 89. So if the monkey's x position is less than negative 89, we want to set the direction to the right. So I can duplicate this code, but instead of left, I want to set it to right. So now if we press play, the monkey should move to the left and to the right. Oh, so notice the monkey is not moving. Let's see if we can find out why. Well, if we look on the screen, we can see that the enemy's direction is set to zero. So since the direction is not left or right, the monkey is not going to move. So the best way to fix this is just set the monkey's direction at the beginning of the level. So in order to set the direction, I can go to variables, grab set direction, and I'm going to place that above the forever loop because I don't want to set the direction forever. I only want to set it at the beginning of the level. 
and I can change it from zero to right. Now when I press the green flag and I get back to level three, the monkey should move. There we have it. And now the monkey is moving left and right on the platform, which is definitely gonna make it harder for the player. So notice the monkey is moving super quick. The good news is I can slow this monkey down by changing the 10 and negative 10 to smaller numbers. So let's say six and negative six. And now notice the monkey is moving slower. So now we have an enemy that can either jump in place or move left and right on a platform. Remember, if you want to get rid of the direction on the screen, all you have to do is uncheck the box underneath variables. I'll see you in the next video.